I describe this as a random act of violence. Ellie Richardson remembers everything about that fateful night. She remembers the car speeding by as she and her co-workers were leaving Lachey's bar and over the Rhine. She remembers the confrontation and the man who pointed a gun at her head and pulled the trigger. I can't say why it happened because I don't know. Um, I don't know if something triggered him that night or if something was going on. I, I, you know, that's still the question of the day. That was 17 months ago. Ellie still can't believe how her life changed instantly. How her little boy, only two at the time, almost didn't have his mama. I was definitely angry. Just why thinking that? But I, not that I forgive him for what he did, but I've moved on and I'm a better person now because of it. After months of physical therapy and reconstructive surgery. So it went in right here, went through the front of my face and was lodged right over here. Amazingly, so the physical scars are all but gone. It's really a miracle. Oh, 100% a miracle. 100% a miracle. The emotional the scars took a little bit longer to heal, it. but instead of losing her sense of security that night, Ellie found clarity. She always wanted to be a nurse, and after the love and compassion she got from the nurses and doctors at the University of Cincinnati, she found the courage to finally go back to school. I just want to help people. That's what I want to do. Anything I can do to help someone make their day even just a little bit better. This Thursday, Ellie will graduate from Hondros College of Nursing. It's just the beginning of her passion to pay it forward as a nurse and as a survivor. Try to push to be the best person that you can be because everyone can be. Just whether you choose to or not.